Auto School Time programs have a long history of ensuring that all youth have access to healthy foods and opportunities for physical activity, that they have a place where they feel safe and are engaged in culturally relevant learning activities that are purposeful and intentional, and that they form positive relationships with adults and their peers. And I want to emphasize the importance of positive relationships because young people, like all people, need to experience positive relationships. And when they feel alienated, young people are more likely to seek unhealthy or unsafe relationships in their search for connection. And we know that our school time programs really do a great job of fostering those safe environments where those positive relationships can form. We also know that research tells us that regular participation in quality out of school time programs have been shown to improve students' self-confidence and self-awareness and positive social behaviors, as well as decrease problem behaviors. Additionally, research shows that programs that provide healthy foods and keeps kids active is associated with decreasing anxiety and emotional distress and increasing self-esteem. So again, we know that all of us who are doing this work know the, the positive outcomes and benefits of, of intentional purposeful programming can have on the young people we serve to really um, help them, support them through the issues that they may be experiencing in their lives. Um, one thing I wanna emphasize here though, is when, when we talk about the research and what, what it sa says is that quality is an, important, is an important word to really underscore in thinking about the program um, and the opportunities young people are experiencing in the out-of-school time space. And so um, as we kind of progress through today's session, we're gonna really open up and start talking about the healthy eating and physical activity standards, those HEPA standards um, for OST because they provide a research-based framework for programs to understand and measure their programs, healthy eating and physical activity. And then they can be used to help inform a plan for improvement to really support high quality programming that promotes healthy behaviors. So we're gonna be hearing from presenters. They're gonna talk about the work they've done with implementing standards in their programs and how this has really helped um, move the program quality into really promoting healthy behaviors and, and promoting health and wellness for, for the young people in the programs. And I just want to say that knowing that we can make a positive impact on the health and well-being of youth, you know, out of school time programs can really build upon our foundation for positive youth development and become strong partners in the system that supports a whole child's health and wellness. So next slide, please. Thank you. Um, and so I wanted to acknowledge that the, um, the CDC has a, uh, has a framework, a model called the whole school, whole community, whole child. And it's really their framework for addressing health in schools. Um, this, it's also called the WISC model, is a, is a student-centered and emphasizes the role of community in supporting the school, the connections between health and academic achievement, and the importance of evidence-based policies and practices. And again, this is an opportunity for out-of-school time programs to see themselves as partners in the whole school, whole community, whole child model um, as an opportunity to engage with schools as partners um, to advance this work. Um, and many schools are implementing this framework. Um, actually, the CDC um, has a healthy schools initiative that funds school districts um, and local school districts to implement this framework. And out of school time partners are a critical partner in, um, in, in the kind of full vision of this model. So I just wanted to highlight that um, and share this as an opportunity for, for you all to be thinking about how you can play a part um, in partnering with schools to, to address um, health equity for your community. 